Restroom sanitation is a critical part of a daily maintenance program. Most people equate the cleanliness of a restroom with the cleanliness of your entire facility. You only have one chance to make a good first impression. The purpose of cleaning and disinfecting a restroom is to reduce the spread of infection and disease, encourage better personal hygiene, and ensure a healthier and cleaner work environment. To begin, obtain all the equipment and supplies required for the task at hand and load them into your cleaning cart. For safety, confirm you have all the appropriate personal protective equipment. Gloves and safety glasses are required to help prevent chemical splashes from coming into contact with your skin and eyes. Review the safety data sheets, product labels, and any caution statements for all products being used. Knock on the restroom door and announce your intention to enter. If the restroom is occupied, wait until it's empty, prop the door open, and immediately post a restroom closed sign. To allow for proper disinfecting time, start with the toilet bowls, urinals, and sinks. Be sure to remove all urinal screens and flush all urinals and toilets before cleaning. It's common practice to back flush toilets to reduce the amount of water in the bowl to allow for more of the surface to be cleaned and disinfected. To do this, use a bowl mop to press the water over the trap, forcing it to evacuate from the bowl. Apply a disinfectant solution to all toilet and urinal interiors and exteriors, including toilet seats. If using an acid-based bowl cleaner, be sure to apply to the interior of the bowl and urinal only. A non-acid bowl cleaner can be applied to both the interior and exterior. Allow the disinfectant to stand at least 10 minutes while you complete other cleaning tasks. Next, use a dry paper towel to remove any loose debris in the sinks. Spray a non-acid disinfectant solution to the interior of the sinks, all exterior surfaces, faucets, and all metal surfaces. Allow the disinfectant to stand at least 10 minutes while you complete other cleaning tasks. Using the top to bottom approach, remove all dust from ceiling fans, vents, tops of doors and stall partitions, light fixtures, windows, and other high area surfaces by utilizing a long handled dusting tool. This process should be completed once or twice per week. Empty all the trash receptacles and sanitary product disposal units and spray them with a disinfectant solution. Never use your hands to press trash down and into the trash receptacle in case there are any sharp objects sticking out of the liners. Replace the liners in all of the trash receptacles and disposal units. Next, make sure all of the soap dispensers are working properly and refill them as needed. Clean the exterior of the soap dispensers with a damp cloth and a disinfectant solution and allow them to air dry. Then, unlock the towel dispensers and refill them as needed. Be sure not to overfill them. Once the dispensers are locked, clean the exterior with a damp cloth and a disinfectant solution and allow them to air dry. The same should be done with the toilet tissue dispensers. Unlock the dispensers, remove any empty rolls, and clean the interior with a damp cloth and disinfectant solution. Reload the toilet tissue dispensers as necessary, with the tissue dispensing over the front of the roll for ease of use. Then close and lock all dispensers. Clean the exterior of the dispensers with a damp cloth and a disinfectant solution and allow them to air dry. For any additional dispensers in your restroom, follow the same cleaning procedures using a damp cloth and a disinfectant solution. Next, dust mop or sweep the floor to remove all loose trash and empty debris into a trash receptacle. Be sure to choose your start and stop points to complete the task near the exit or trash receptacle. Use a putty knife to remove gum or any other hard substance from the floors and partitions. Now you are ready for wet cleaning. Be sure to check that all faucets and drains are working properly. Treat all drains with a bacterial digestant deodorant solution by pouring the recommended amount directly into the drain prior to wiping down the faucets and sinks. This quick step keeps drains running freely and prevents reoccurring odors. Bacteria-based odor counteractants can also be used 
to help mitigate reoccurring odors around toilets and urinals. Next, apply a glass cleaner to all mirrors and wipe from top to bottom with a clean wipe or towel to prevent streaking. Use the same wipe to clean all light fixtures. Spot clean all other restroom surfaces with a disinfectant. Starting from the bottom, clean all partitions, walls, and doors. Pay close attention to high contact points, including doorknobs, toilet seats, flush valves, handles, and partition locks. Be sure to remove any graffiti with a graffiti remover. Now that the disinfectant solution has had an ample contact time in and around the toilets and urinals, apply toilet bowl cleaner directly to a bowl mop and clean the trap, water line, and rim areas of the toilet. Flush to rinse the bowl and use the clean water to rinse your bowl mop and then flush again. Be sure to check under and around toilet rims with a lip light for any remaining mineral deposits. For urinals, apply toilet bowl cleaner directly to a bowl mop and clean the rim and water line from the bottom to the top. For those facilities with waterless urinals, special chemistry and procedures are required. Check under and around urinal rims with a lip light. Finally, replace all urinal screens. Now it's time to wipe down all sink surfaces with a clean cloth or paper towel until dry. Check under and around sink rims and countertops with a lip light. Residual mineral deposits and rust can be removed using a cream cleanser or a mild phosphoric acid solution. Next, it's time to clean and disinfect the floor. Choose a suitable mop type and size for the task at hand. It's always good to pre-soak the mop before you begin to remove lint or other fibers. Fill the mop bucket with water to the desired level. Add a disinfectant cleaner to the water at its proper dilution. Using a disinfectant cleaner will help provide effective bacteria elimination and help control odors. Fully submerge the mop into the bucket and wring it out to the desired dampness. Remember, the mop should have enough solution on it to allow the floor to remain wet for 10 minutes. Be sure to use your legs, not your back, to apply pressure to the wringer. Begin mopping at the furthest point from the door and work your way towards the exit. When mopping the floor area around toilets and urinals, mop thoroughly and wring out often. When the mopping solution is visibly soiled, change to a fresh solution. For quarry tile floors, a mild acidulous tile cleaner or enzyme-based floor cleaner may be required to keep the grout lines clean. A scrubbing machine or hand brush will be required for heavily soiled grout. A pump-up pressure sprayer or a flat mop can be used in place of a traditional mop bucket and wringer to save time and money. For those restrooms with shower room facilities, be sure to put non-slip boots on before starting the shower room cleaning. Starting from the bottom, spot clean any heavily soiled areas with a disinfectant solution. Pay close attention to high contact points including all shower handles and knobs. Fill the foam gun reservoir with a high foaming, multi-acid shower room disinfectant cleaner. If you don't have access to a foam gun, use a pump up foaming two quart sprayer to apply the product. Apply or insert the appropriate dilution control mechanism. Attach the foam gun to the hose and then attach the hose to the nearest water source. Begin at the floor and move upward until you reach the ceiling. Move on one section at a time until all the walls are covered. After the walls have been covered, spray the ceiling in a similar manner, making sure the entire ceiling has been sprayed with the disinfectant solution. Next, using an all-angle scrub brush, start at the first area that was sprayed with the disinfectant and scrub all contact surfaces. Wash from the bottom up. Detach the foam gun from the hose and replace it with a standard spray nozzle. Starting with the ceiling and working down the walls, Rinse thoroughly with water, paying special attention to any metal fixtures. Rinse from the top down. Be sure to rinse off your non-slip boots with water before leaving the shower room. Disconnect the hose from the water source and wind it up. Remove your boots and place them on your cleaning cart. Make sure to remove your gloves and dispose of them prior to leaving the restroom. 
Once finished, remove the restroom close sign, properly rinse the mop, discard the solution, and return all the supplies to the proper storage area.